G'day. So you found yourself a cave spider spawner. Now these spawners are very common and found within abandoned mine shafts. So today I'm going to be showing you how to turn this cave spider spawner into a very simple string farm. Now you can also do XP farms off them, but that would be in a separate video. So everybody knows that uh, pretty much string is very useful and you could turn string into wool. So it's pretty much an ultimate wool farm as well. You can take your white wool and you know make it into carpet or whatever you want from there. It's fan bloody tastic. So once you've found your spawner, you, what you want to do is go ahead and make sure you've lit up the entire area like a bloody Christmas tree. That's right, make sure she's lit up. Because these little suckers, they can actually poison you and take you down to half heart. Then you're dead and then a dead dingo's donger. So you've got to be really careful uh, about making sure they don't spawn. So make sure you've lit the entire area, area up like a Christmas tree. And then go ahead and start removing, obviously, all the webs. You're going to find a bunch of these around. So go ahead and make sure you've cleared out all the webs. So now, what I want to do is create a 9x9 cube, with the spawner being the center, and that's very easy to do. All you have to do is measure four blocks from the spawner, one, two, three, four, and make sure you've dug all that up. So that's right, so make sure you've dug four in that direction, four up, four down, four on the side, yep, four in every direction. And that's going to go ahead and create a nice 9x9 cube. Very easy to do. There we go. This is a 9 by 9 squared room, the spawner being the dead center. Now remember, if you're having trouble clearing out the room, just remember to use your counting. 1, 2, 3, 4. Literally in every direction, there should be a nice 4 air gap right around. Okay, so just remember when you're digging down the four, make sure you go ahead and place torches around the room. You don't want any of these nasty suckers spawning while you're trying to build this thing. Now, on to the next stage. So you can go ahead and leave the room stock like this. You know, go ahead and patch it up with some good old cobblestone. Maybe it's super early on the well in your world, your survival world, and you cannot afford, you know, anything fancy. So you just patch it up. Patch all the all the holes up with uh, good old cobblestone. Fill them all up, all, all up if you like. But you can leave a vanilla like that. Or I'm going to go with a theme today. That's right. I'm going to decorate my square blo box here. And uh, don't forget, uh, my decorations will not affect the farm at all. So don't stress too much. If you can't uh, decorate the, the farm here, don't worry too much. I'm just adding a decoration. So let me go ahead and apply my theme. Now that's better. Flame and Gala. I've chosen to go with sandstone and red sandstone. I've also placed a slab on top of the spawner, preventing any spawns from spawning on top of the spawner. So, guys, just remember that any decoration you choose will not affect the farm. You can just go vanilla, cobblestone, stone, you know, mix it up, especially if it's early on in your survival world. Okay, let's go on to the next step. We're going to want a viewing room. Now, I like the viewing room to be a little bit lower than normal, so I'm going to go two blocks off the off the, the bottom here. So one, two, and I'm going to go ahead and cut a three high all the way along. That's right, just cut it all the way along. I'm going to dig this out. It's going to take a little bit to dig out. I'm going to dig it deep. I'm going to bring it ten blocks back, okay? So I've gone two blocks up, and I'm going to go ten blocks back. Um, that's including this block here. So, I'll be right back. Look at that. It's starting to come along nicely. So, the next stage is, what I want to do before we start working on the actual farm farm part of things, is I want to put a tunnel in the viewing room connecting the center block here. See that center block? Very important for the actual farm farm. So... It's going to be quite easy to do. This is exactly why I've dug it further back, because I'm going to start a staircase further back here. Now, if you really wanted to, you could put just a ladder, ladder that drops in and under. That's totally up to you. But I'm going with a nice, fancy staircase. <laughs> so, yep, I'm going to start right back here. I'm going to remove the corner blocks here. I'm going to remove them both sides, so we're going to have a dual staircase, I think. 
And let's bring that right into the middle. So let's take out this entire back bit. Now there is a center. So that means it's going to be a three wide here. Perfect. I'm going to take a few blocks back. So it's looking like almost like a T. Uh, that's the best way I can explain it. So what I'm going to do is going to grab some stairs. I'm going to start staring it down now. That's right. Well, looks like I've hit a cave. That's no problem. Same thing with over here. Yep, I'm going to start staring it down. Look at that. See? March looks looks real fancy. And same with this. I'm going to bring it down probably, oh, since we went up by two, we're probably going to bring it down by five blocks. Yeah, we've got to go down by five blocks. Hitting a cave like this, no problem, guys. Don't worry about it too much. You know, loot all the, the, the ores out of it and then go ahead and seal it up. Make sure it's torched up. You don't want any random noises coming from the actual cage, cave itself. But let's keep going put a nice floor on there but remember so we'll go down we've already gone down by two blocks yep so now i want to go down by three more that should put us directly in a path with going underneath uh our spawner itself and oh, if you want to not hit your noggin probably go instead of uh yeah go an extra so right now we've got what three let's go four you know what go four I'm going to go four because I, I want the room. I want a nice three tall ceiling as we get down here. So I'm going to go ahead and tunnel in here. I'm going to grab a torch real quick, just in case you don't want nothing spawning. And look, we've hit we've uh, hit the underneath of the actual spawner itself, which is great. Well, our nine by nine cube, I should actually say. Dig this nice, lovely, there you go. Bring it right back to the center. There you go. There's the center there. As you can see, if you look directly up, you'll see the spawner. Just make sure you put some torches down here. <laughs> don't want anything spawning. Let me go ahead and fix the fix, decorate the rest of this room, and then we'll get to the farm farm. Looking good, guys. Looking good. All right. So I've just gone ahead and updated, obviously, all the stone and everything with my current theme. Now, just remember, you don't really have to put the stairs in or the corridor or nothing. You can literally just literally pop a ladder that goes directly straight down here and then just a little chamber in here as long as you can directly see your spawner underneath there like that so you can do that or you can go the fancy way that i've done that's not a problem too at the end of the day so let's go replace what i've just gone ahead and taken out whoops the right block okay so just remember glass will be going in here like rep that that's right we've got to be protected from the actual chamber and just remember light levels guys do not have your torches too close to your 9x9 chamber. It's got to be pinch black at the end of the day. So remember that while building, okay? And a good tip to remember, from the glass, so this is the glass, you need at least five air blocks between your torches. And that means this area here will become, is, is lit up enough that you won't get spawns, but once it crosses the line, it's dark enough that things will spawn, aka our little friends there so perfect good good to know all right so let's move on okay now on to the farm farm bit of things the best thing about this design here of this stream farm is that the cave spiders will not get stuck i've seen designs with pistons and fancy walls and glass blocks and all this stuff you don't need that sort of stuff this is a very simple design okay so we're gonna gonna go downstairs now you take your stairs or your ladder depends which one you've built to be honest with you i'm going to come down to the center block here and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to place a chest in, uh yeah we're going to place a chest in one back from the wall so here's the wall you see the hopper one back you see and then we're going to place a chest on that block yep this is just so we can aim a hopper through so you're going to hold shift and you're going to place it in. So there we go. So the hopper's flowing into the chest there. Okay, perfect. Now on top of that hopper, literally on top, we're going to take a trapdoor of your choosing. I'm going with oak. And I'm going to put a oak trapdoor on top of that hopper. Boom. See? You can open and close it. Make sure it's shut. There you go. Looking fantastic. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead... And you're going to go back upstairs. Yep, you're going to go back upstairs. And you're going to break this torch here. And you're going to break this torch here. You're going to put a block on the other side. You're going to run two tracks into that block. And you're going to push a minecart uh, hopper 
That's right, minecart. So you just you build a regular old minecart, you combine that with a hopper, Bob's your uncle, you've got a minecart hopper, and then push that into the hole. Break your stuff. Done and dusted. Fantastic, guys. Now, for the last little bit, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, magma block. Yes, that's right. Now, you can find these guys in the nether. They're everywhere in the nether. Or, if it's if you're super early on, you haven't been to the nether, well, guess what? They spawn underwater as well. Uh, you see them in the... Um, like the, the ravines underwater and all that stuff you see are the bubbles and stuff you can swim down and get yourself one now place that right in the center we're going to call this the hot plate that's right some of my subscribers may know where that is from we'll call that the hot plate now let's go back down yep let's go back down here and everything should be ready to go so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is sort of seal up around yep so we don't touch accidentally touch that minecart just go ahead and seal up around it if you want to. Make it look pretty. Yeah. Well, you can even add more storage. You, obviously, some store this this storage might not be enough for you. You might go, wow, Dave, I'm going to fill this, this chest up so quickly. Well, go ahead and add some more storage to it. And that's quite easy too because we've gone ahead and cut a nice big room here. What you can do is put another chest on the side and literally drain it down to the side. Turn it into a double chest if you like. Quite easily. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple but for this demonstration we're just going to use a single chest you can even step down the chest to make it even bigger if you really really like okay so you're probably like okay well how does this flame and work well let's, um, let me explain to you what's going on here so first we're going to we're going to put place four buckets of water in each of the corners and that's going to knock out all the torches and it's going to flow down to a direct point here it's going to push all our cave spider spawners onto the hot plate in the middle and the hot plate can kill two spider spawners uh sorry two cave spiders at a time so which is fantastic and guess what if we go ahead and throw something on top see how it see how the loot the loot will get sucked up by the hopper underneath ha ah, how cool and simple is that works so well so what of all i've done is placed uh, all I've done is placed a hopper underneath and I've jacked the, the hopper cart up by just placing in a regular old tra trap door which is pushing our hopper minecart high enough through the block so the hopper minecart can suck through the block. That's right. And obviously the block can also kill the mob at the same time. So all our stuff is end ending up in here. Very, very simple stuff. Now you're probably going to want to see this in action. But first things first, let me go ahead and put the glass in, then we'll place and remove the torches. Okay, guys, the final bit. So, I've gone ahead and installed the glass, but safety glass. You don't want to get overwhelmed by cave spiders, do you? So, I'm going to go ahead now, and we don't need to really remove the torches on the ground, but we need to remove the torches off the spawner itself, okay? So, go around and do that as quick as you can, because, yeah, see what I mean? You're going you're gonna to be fighting... Uh, a couple of cave spider spawners uh, maybe put a block at the end here so you can sort of hop on out so quickly go ahead and place around all your buckets of water real quick pushing hopefully all them into the middle this last one here and bob's your uncle and then replace with glass and there you guys go how simple is that super simple now Guys, you may want to turn your sounds off or whatever because them dying is going to get quite annoying. <laughs> but all your loot now is going downstairs and you're nice and safe behind the glass here. And uh, the spiders will not get stuck on the walls because the walls are too far away. They naturally just flow into the center. Bloody brilliant. You can even come downstairs, light it up down here like a Christmas tree and it won't affect... Oh, there we go. So we've already got two pieces of string. And it won't affect the light levels up here because it's all sealed up. It's all separate unit. See what I mean? Look at that. You've got double cave spiders cooking. Look at this. You only need a single hot plate to do the job of one spawner. That's all you need. And that will run, literally. You can AFK all night here. You'll, cut, you'll come back with chests upon chests, literally, of string. Well, six string already. Uh, it's bloody fantastic. Easy to build.
very easy to build and this door sort of represents like where you would have come on on you know your main base is that way or you've dug down from the surface or you know wherever you've come from just remember to stay within 16 blocks of the spawner uh, because what will actually happen if you do not stay within 16 blocks the spawner will turn off and will no longer spawn so you sort of just want to you know sit yourself direct center here and afk and watch those those poor little spiders cook on the hot plate and they will just continuously spawn die spawn die spawn die spawn die it's bloody brilliant works like a charm so guys i uh, hopefully this tutorial has helped you build a very simple string farm um if it has make sure you smash those buttons 11 already guys make probably that 12 oh yep well they're dying upstairs right now <laughs> oh, 12 there we go bloody lovely so go ahead and uh if this tutorial has helped you out Make sure you smash those buttons, leave a comment below saying it helped you out, share on your favourite social media, um, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and smash that bell. Alright guys, I'll catch us all later. <laughs>